Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video today I'm going to be bringing you with me on a first clean uh, of a barn conversion that's been converted into offices and I'm going to be using the uh, Enlight 24k pole, uh, 6 meter pole from Unger and I'm going to be using their new, um, it's called the hybrid brush but uh, what it is it's a boar's hair or boar's bristle brush mixed with a man-made fiber in the middle so on a first clean what i tend to do is uh, give it a soak up with a bit of fairy liquid and all i do is put a bit of fairy on the brush and then give the whole window a good soak that way gives it plenty of time to release all the dirt um, the boar's hair bristle definitely helps and it's nothing fancy, just literally a quick rub over. I don't do this on every clean. It's, if the first clean is very bad, uh, if there's a lot of dirt, if there's a lot of bird poo, bee, bee pollen, that type of thing, I'll just give the whole thing a good soak. Leave it, sometimes, depends on how big the building is. Sometimes I'll go right round and soak everything up. Other times, I'll just do uh, the one side of a building, depending on how big it is. Just, I mean, and a little bit of fairy on the brush does go a long way, you can see. It's quite a big window, and there's still loads on there. So, of course, you want to make sure you get it all off before you start cleaning the glass, or at least rinse really, really well. So that's the one side all soaked up and then once it's had a few minutes just go around and start a scrub over. Now you can see there's still a bit of soap coming off that quite a bit, probably a bit too much there. I'll put on that brush for this one side. So you've just got to make sure if there is still soap on it when you come to rinse it down it is rinsed really, really well. I'll give it all its top row. Another rub over. All around the frames and get a good rub as well. Now with the boar's hair, you can really feel that grab in the glass. It's a fantastic job. And then just make sure that you rinse every last drop of that soap off. Now for a first clean, I have my pump up not to 100 because that's not efficient. If you haven't already seen my video on how to set your pump, that's worth going and have a look at. But uh, I set my pump up so it's running as high as it can but without overworking the pump. And get a good flow, especially for first cleans. Now people say, yeah, but I try and keep the flow down so I can't carry a lot of water. So I don't want the flow too high. But you actually earn much more money from having a high flow. You do um, use more water, definitely. But there's a good reason for that. And that is that you are doing more work. So you're going to use more water. But then you might say, yes, but I've only got 200 litres. I can't do more work, I'm doing the most I can. Well, yeah, you might not be able to do more work, but you'll be finishing earlier. So it's definitely worth turning your pump up. If you haven't tried it, just try it for a couple of days. Just turn your pump up, get it quite high, try and put it up an extra 10 or 20 and just see how you get on. Just keep going up slightly. But don't just do it once and then say, oh, it doesn't work for me. Try it for a few days or a week and you will be surprised how much more work you actually get done. It is amazing. I couldn't believe it myself when I first started it. Um, good old Sam's idea. When he was working with me, he kept creeping around the back of the van, putting the pump up. <laughs> I'd go up to the van, and, oh, who's been messing with this? But he was getting faster and faster and I wasn't. The reason was, he was putting the pump up, he was getting more water on the glass, so spending a lot less time cleaning it. 
If you do decide to put your pump up, what you have got to remember is make sure you work faster. No good putting your pump up and then spending the same amount of time rinsing. That just completely defeats the object of it. Uh, rinse faster, plenty of water on the glass and you'll either earn more money or you'll finish work earlier, which to me is definitely advantage. Now, some people will rinse on the glass. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. With the first clean, or especially if I've got soap in my bristles, I tend not to rinse on the glass. Just to make sure it keeps everything off the glass. Last thing that touches it is water, not soapy bristles. A little bit of poo on the frame there. And that has come up really nice. I think they'll definitely be happy with it anyway. And on to the rest of the building. Now being a first clean, I have put a bit extra on for the first time. So I think that's definitely worth doing, especially when you go to do a clean and it's uh, quite dirty. That first time is the time when you do all the hard work. If you're starting out, for those people that are just starting out in the business and you've got a lot of first cleans to start with, those are some hard days when all you're doing are first cleans. And some people say, oh, that's good enough on that one corner. But you really make your impression on your first clean. You never clean it as well ever again. Always do the best you can on your first clean because first impressions really do count. That's when they're the dirtiest, so they see the most difference. So you really do want to get them right. On those first cleans, that way you'll get reviews, you'll get recommendations, you'll keep the customer happy, you'll get paid quicker. All these things add up. And that's not Google Paid, that's the, uh, the free app. It was called Google Business, but now they've changed it a bit and it's all run through Google Maps, which is slightly more complicated, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad at all. So there's not a lot on this side. There's that little window above that roof there. Those two windows there with bars on. But this is the main thing on this one. Uh, and it is fairly mucky. The birds have been having a real go at it. So I'm gonna soak this one up first, you can see. Really dirty. Those swallow nests all along that line there. And they're making a real mess. So, once again, a bit of fairy on the brush. Uh, I really do like this, uh, well the Unger call it the jewel trim, or that's Unger call it the hybrid, sorry. Um, but it is actually, the reason they call it the hybrid is because it's got boar's hair and uh, man-made synthetic fibers. I don't think you realise how much you actually twist the brush until you I put the camera on it to film it and you really see the brush wobbling around. These are a bit awkward with the bars. They weren't too fussed about them, but the good thing about the younger brushes is that all the hoses are internal. So uh, you're not catching them on things like behind door handles or on these bars in this case. Got the swallows flying around. Let's get this a scrub off. You can really see those boar hairs bristles 
really clean well. Now, I wouldn't use this all the time, the boar's hair. Uh, there's two reasons for that. The first is, um, the first is it's not the strongest brush. I'm using it with cold water. I did use it continuously for a few weeks, but uh, it did start to get a bit bent up in the middle, at the bottom of the bristles, did start to get a bit bent up. So now I'm just using it for first cleans. And the second reason is because it is so grippy on the glass, puts more strain on your arms. You can actually feel it pulling against your arms when you're using it, I think, more than a, another brush would. So, definitely worth saving it. It's a lovely brush, um, but it's almost too powerful for an everyday brush. So, definitely worth saving it for first cleans though. You know, being the arsenal of brushes, and come out for first cleans like this, especially when they're really dirty. As you can see, it's brought those windows up really, really nicely. At the moment, there is a slight problem with the clamps on the other poles. Is you have to keep tightening them up couple of two or three, maybe more times a day each clam. So I have mentioned this to Unga, and he said something that they're working on. So hopefully they'll make an improvement on that. These poles are new, a new development, so they've definitely made improvements from when they first came out. So the brush performed absolutely amazingly. It is such a grippy brush. The boar's hair really grips the glass. If anything, it's a good job that synthetic is uh, inside to give it a bit of glide, otherwise it would just grip too hard. But I am really, really pleased with the boar's hair bristle. I have been using it for a couple of weeks now, and um, yeah, I've, if you can see, uh, it has got a bit destroyed there. So I'm gonna just keep this as a, uh, as a first clean or a very dirty, uh, very dirty window brush as it does, uh, doesn't last very well. And I've only been using it with cold water, but on first cleans, absolutely amazing cleaning power. Uh, I did notice that I think they must've changed something with the design. It's the first time I was using the younger brushes, the bumpers on the end kept dropping off. Well. As I said, I've been using this one for a few weeks now and I haven't had the bumper drop off once. Uh, the rinse bar works really well. I like the rinse bar, it gets loads of water onto the glass and gives it a really good rinse. I haven't really used the pencil jets to be honest because uh, I've been getting on really well with the rinse bar. So all in all, really nice pole. Um, I do tend to use it what Ungus call upside down. I find that the most comfortable. Uh, but because it's all quick release, um, it is really easy just to take the brush off, turn it round if you want to use it the other way up, and then just feed it back through. And it just press the two buttons and it clips in. You just swim gooseneck round then, and you've got it the other way up. So it is really easy to turn round. But as I said, I prefer it in the upside down position. Uh, I just find that more comfortable. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, thanks for watching. As I said, all the links in the, will be in the description below. And if you are interested in getting any younger equipment, um, go to the cleaning warehouse and use the code TCG5 for an extra 5% off. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.